What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and we're talking about notifications. We are look at a couple of actions uh, in this video and the next video on notifications and sending notifications to people. So these actions are to send notifications to yourself. So these are more personal flows, things that are set up in the context of of you being notified about something. So that's what I'll look at. The first one I'll look at is send me a mobile notification. So this is a really handy flow that will quickly send you a message to your phone and you can pick it up on the go and like open it up and see the notification, etc. It does have a prerequisite, which is you do need the Microsoft Flow, I think it's still called that, um, app installed, it may be called Power Automate now, you might have to search both to try and find it, but you need that app installed on your phone, so you need a phone that's capable of running that app. That app's really useful, you can run manual trigger flows, you can monitor your flows on there, you can actually author the flows on there as well, so it's highly, I highly recommend it uh, that you download this app. I'll put the link to the iOS and the Play Store down below and you can download it. Without further ado, let's get into it. So. I have a manual trigger flow here because I don't need anything else. And then I can click on new step. And I can search in the bar here, notifications, and we get this notifications connector. And you can see there are two notifications. Send me a mobile notification, send me an email notification. We're going to be looking at this first one today. So send me a mobile notification. So click on that. And it requires only a single parameter, but then we have also have three other parameters. So the text, and this is the text that's going to be a notification. So you could bring this from anywhere. This could be in your, um, th this could be in a piece of direct content. It could be coming from various other sources, but it's just the text that's going to be displayed on the notification. So you say, um, hey, check out this link. It's got some great information for you. And then we need the link. So this is an optional parameter, so we can include a link. So you can just click it on your phone and it'll open up into a web browser. So what we'll do is we'll put www.d365geek.co.uk, which is my blog. Uh, we can also specify a link label as well. So this is the text that will be kind of displayed in that hyperlink. So the hyperlink here, or the, sorry, the link here URL won't be displayed. But when we put the link link label in, we'll kind of like format it and it'll be kind of blue, like you kind of normally get with hyperlinks and things. So we'll say, uh, click me, exclamation point. Uh, and that's all we need. So we can test this out. So we'll click on test. Uh, I'll perform a trigger action. We'll save and test. Now this will get displayed on my phone. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've connected my phone to my laptop and I really hope this will work and this will show you what we're doing. Here we go, just take a second there. Um, so we'll click that. Now I've got the phone app installed on my device. This is my phone and we can see in the notifications uh, right here, um, hey, check out this link for some great information. So that's the text that we had. We can click to open it. And again, uh, you can kind of see a little bit here. Um, hey, check out this link. That's the that's the text that we had. And we can click the click me button and it'll open up a web browser, D365Geek. And look, there's my beautiful site uh, optimized for mobile. Um, I really don't like sites that are optimized for mobile sometimes um, because they just crush everything and you can't read things in a good way. So I actually prefer, prefer more of a desktop approach to mobile app design, but that is just me and that is my blog. So that's how this notification works. So all it does is just takes the context and the inputs that you're putting in and just sends a notification. So you do need to be logged in with the same email address that you're run, running the flow in on the app on your phone and you do need to uh, have that phone that have that app installed and enabled on your phone to be able to see that notification but this is really handy because you could do things like uh flick buttons and you could have like a, a button at the loading bay you can press the button and as soon as you press the button all these people get notifications on their phone with a little vibrate or something like that to say hey you know this is um, there's a there's a shipment here, it needs to be offloaded, uh, please come to the loading bay and do that, or your pizza's here, come down and get it, that sort of thing. So loads of options for this. Um, you could have like health and safety things, there's been an accident, please come with the accident book, first aid kit or something like that. Um, loads and loads of great 
use traces for the send me a mobile notification but as always i want to know what you guys use it for so let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video if you could like and share it with your friends that'd be much appreciated if you've not already click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos and i'll see you next time